Hello everyone, welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that we like to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Of course we have me, Jamie, your host, I have our angel-haired hipster Curtis, and our happy hunter and Eddie. And on today's episode we have the beautiful Cassie. Hello. This is the first time on the show, and uh, for that I brought in, I selected something that uh, I think she'd like, that we li- I like, um, Eddie and I have had this before, I know you got it on your shelf, so. No I don't. You don't? No, I don't have a bottle of that on my shelf. You have something like it, then, don't you? Oh, I have lots of rice. I don't have a, oh. I don't have a Sakurak rye from. Oh, not from Buffalo Trace. You got the Thomas H. Handy. Oh yeah, well. Oh, that's oh, a I lot different. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah those great. two were very different beasts. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just, I just, uh, you know, I just looked at the word. I assumed Sakurai. you had it. Sazerac. 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 I keep yeah. calling it Sazerac. <laughs> Sazerac. Close. All right. Good enough. So what we got going on here? Well, you said this is a Buffalo Trace product, right? Of course, it and is they, a Buffalo Trace product. And they always make great stuff. Yeah, what else do you know about it? Well, I put out different glasses because I wasn't sure what you guys were bringing. Okay. So, we'll start with this. You're first. You just um, okay. set it down and then we'll... Don't tell her what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just drinking it. <laughs> this is definitely a rye. <laughs> this time you got it right. I got it right. <laughs> I got it right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. And, and, okay, this rye. This rye. This rye. This rye. Like the 1800s. Ooh. It's famous for it being the original American mixed drink. Whoa. Okay. In New Orleans, they had these coffee houses that mm-hmm. served whiskey. So you would go in and you'd get a toddy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they would make, they would take saccharac rye and they put bitters in it, and then you would drink it, and it became like the first unofficial mixed drink in the United States. Hmm. So, this is the, this is the rye that they used. Okay. So now we get to take a little sip. Hmm. Mm. What's your first impression? It was definitely a rye. Um, <laughs> I like to roll it in my tongue, and it's just, it just hits you. But this is very smooth, <coughs> and um, it's just, it, it's got, I don't want to say a full body, but it's just kind of in the middle for me. And uh, I just, I like it. Eats up the whole mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's very warm for. It's like uh, forty-five percent, I think, isn't it? What does mm. it say? Uh, it, it's 45%, it, yeah, 90 proof. Yeah. Yeah, so it's on the lighter side. Do, 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 do. Lighter side of what we usually serve. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz we're we're like it. We're a 50%ers over here mm-hmm. or higher. Mm-hmm. Boom. What what do you think? Um I mean, it's not not bad. It's not bad. It's not it's bad. It's definitely like he said got that warm. Mm. And it went down smooth. Did you get anything yeah. when you smelled it? I smelled it. What did you think? <laughs> It smells like whiskey. <laughs> do you, taste, do you uh, taste any rye when you taste it? Like rye bread? Oh, let me join you, yes. Oh, this is your... Um, this is the butter that I love, everybody. This butter. is Kerrygold. Yep. Natural, naturally softer. This is butter that comes from Ireland. Ireland! <laughs> and uh, what I like about it is from uh, grass-fed cows. So it's, it's made in... <laughs> cut him off. <laughs> I'm cut off already. So I really like it because it's salty and it's buttery and creamy, um, and I don't know. It just it just tastes so much different than like uh, your average butter. Oh, I'm dang so it. did you find it surprising that when you drank it, it didn't burn so crazy like other stuff? Yeah, like it was that, actually I mean, like it was like a nice burn, but it was like my whole face didn't squint up mm-hmm. like I would if it was other whiskey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in what whiskey in particular are you thinking of? Probably Jack. Jack? Okay. God bless your soul. I can't do that. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I mean, it's not bad. I wonder what it would taste like. I don't really know like what chilled. I mean, I know what chilled is, but mm-hmm. what tastes good chilled, but I feel like this would. Oh. Okay. You know what? I've had a uh, um, Maker's Mark chilled. Because, I don't know, the lady who served it to me was not listening and she decided to give it to me chill. Oh, yeah. And I did not like it that much. 
temperature. I like the room temperature, but as some other stuff, yeah. This, I actually would like to try it. Um, chilled. I think it's a, a really great rye. I think it is one of the better ryes to choose if you're going to be mixing drinks. Mmm. Okay, it isn't yeah. what I would pick to drink straight. Not okay. because it isn't good, but I like my rice to be a lot more intense. Yeah. When I drink them straight. Mm -hmm. But uh, th this makes, you know, this and Old Overholst makes. Old Overholst, I think it is. Overholst, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are two really great rice for mixing. Okay. And, and I mean, the price on this is not that bad. No, no. This is, uh, this market on this is uh, just over $30. And um, this is a lot better than a lot of. A lot of stuff out there so so would you say uh, Curtis that maybe if you're introducing somebody to ride this would be good because it's like kind of in the middle it's not too strong and somebody may not want to try something that strong yeah. the first time they, they drink rye what absolutely I would not give somebody some of the rye that I have up here yeah. as a first try because I did that with you two and I almost died and, yeah and you guys were like <laughs> oh my god I'll never taste rye again it this took a long awful. time till I went to another rye mm -hmm. yeah it did yeah, yeah. Now I love rye. I think it's becoming one of my favorites for right now. Um, how's this compared to like whistle pig? Oh, well, we're talking, you know, apples and oranges here. I mean, we price have some different. whistle pig up there if you'd like to try it. <laughs> price difference. <laughs> yeah, price difference. Did you want to try some whistling pig? There's a bottle up there if you'd like. You want to make a comparison? If you'd like to. Sure. I, I don't think it's a fair comparison, but we can make it. Why? What do you say? What do you mean by that? Man? I mean, it is, it's, that is a really intense, really great rye whiskey. This is a really great rye whiskey, but for different reasons. Let me keep my hands right here. Just a sliver, Chris. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's about a half ounce. She's going to think she's got a ride home. Okay, from Daniel. Here you go. Okay, so which one's which? <laughs> Are we back to that, Eddie? Are we back to that, really? <laughs> you gotta try this, and I think you're gonna find a completely different taste. Huh, mm. yeah, I think you're right, okay? okay? You think I'm right? Yeah, I just... You might be right. See, the whistle pig is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that one's too much for you, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a whoo, it's a whoo, now, it's a whoo Do you see what yeah. I mean by saying I that one? Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely a more intense rye whiskey. Yeah, I, I, um, when I first, I, you know, I bought a bottle of this too, and we did a show on it, but we did? this, this like changed my mind on rye forever. Right. This was what broke me of um, getting well, into it. What changed like my good. mind yeah, was... Yeah, good. Like, it, broke, gonna... it broke you for real because it's like $100. <laughs> that, that's what changed my mind. Yeah. I love Dickles. I think Dickles is a wonderful rye whiskey. They, they share that, but for me, forgive me, I kind of like this a little better because it's lighter and it's just kind of easy drinking. So I might do this for a little bit and then later in the night I might just have one of these just to uh, kind of say I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite thinking where I want to have this one first. First, okay. And because of the intensity and mm -hmm. all that, I want to really capture all that. Yeah. And then I go to this. Yeah. To well, that would be a kind of fun, uh, fun exercise and you're too. Thinking? Well, I wouldn't do the intensity one like that. The whistle pig? Yeah. You would I, do this I would one? start off with the rye okay. and then work my way to that one. Sazerac, okay. yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're, if you're drinking like we're drinking, you're not going to make it to that. No. <laughs> no, this one is a bit strong. Yeah. I think once you get doing them a little bit, like, that goes away. Yeah, it, it grows on you. You kind of learn. Yeah. I mean, this one, I can you can definitely feel the burn a little more. Yeah. You know, but now it's like we've gotten used to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is really like, okay, this, this, this is nothing. It's just a warm feeling. This one's like... <clears throat> Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Well, um, and do you have a final thought on the, uh, the Sazerac rye? No. I it's think just I a delight. It's yes. fun. It's easy. It's inexpensive. It's really it's a, a wonderful... great, great for beginners on that. So, on that note, uh, <laughs> Bertanian, we're going to uh, end this episode up with a big bang, right? Bang! Okay, great, guys. So go ahead and take us out of here, bud. All for one? And one, one for all. all. Bang!